What is going on guys? Kittymon here, back at it again with some more one shot. Um today we are going to be exploring the world machine, I guess. That's kind of what this uh room is that we're in right now. Um in the last video, we actually managed to get these three into this like Actually, I wonder if I can... The door is gone. Well, the door doesn't exist without us there. Guess I can't go back out, huh? Do you need to? Not really. Oh, so we're, we're stuck in this room now, I guess. I was gonna pop out there and be all like, yeah, these are the, these are the areas that we had to go into. But, uh... Yeah, I guess we can't. Okay. Um, yeah. In, in the last video, there was a lot of dialogue. And eventually we came into this room where I had to... In order to get to this room, I had to move some code around. Or move some uh, files around. And yeah, it, it was a cool experience. So um, yeah, I guess we're just going to hop back into it and see what all these people have to say because I don't really know exactly what I'm supposed to do right now. These are my father's studies. It feels like he's still here, doesn't it? Like he's still with us. Yeah. The room ahead doesn't really lead anywhere, but Kittymon should still remember what to do here. This place contains a lot of memories. I am grateful to see it again. Place ahead. A big detailed drawing of a machine with lots of TV screens. It's called a blueprint, Nico. So that's what a blueprint is. Black clovers in a glass case. Black clovers in a glass case. Box filled with notebooks and sketches. A big book on a table. It's a stack of books. We got any tea? There's a glass tea set on the table. Tea does sound really nice right now. Too bad there's no water in here. Oh man. Man's got a hankering for some tea. A blueprint board with lots of papers on it. A scribbly drawing is pinned up here. It's a shelf full of books. It's a coat rack with a scarf and a big jacket. Alrighty, I guess we're, we're gonna head into this room, see what's up. Aw oh, man, I know what to do here. We gotta close out of uh, one shot. Boop. And then we got to reopen it. And we got a picture of Nico chilling. And then he wakes up and he's like, what is this place? This place is weird. We got a bunch of TV screens. Where are we? I don't know, man. This is pretty crazy. Do we have a do we have a boss battle with the entity or something? That'd be kind of cool, man. Yo, so these are all pictures of us. I think, right? I mean, I'm like ninety percent sure, right? These are all places we've been and everything.
Oh, heck. We got the goat puzzle right here. That's kind of cool. Actually, I wonder. We can't. We can't interact with it. Yo. I think some some of these are duplicate images, aren't they? Man. We're just casually walking around in the matrix. Oh, we got we got squares coming up at us. Nico? We're talking to ourselves from a TV screen. That's crazy. Ah! I mean, yeah, if, if myself was mirror imaging me from a TV and starts talking to me through my computer, I mean, yeah, that would be kind of creepy. Relax. I'm just borrowing your reflection to talk to you. It's not like my physical form is good for that. Ah. Why did you come here? Can't you see? The disruption... The squares? They're closing in. Nico, please. Get out of here. Let me... Meet my end in peace. The squares are blocking my way too, you know? Oh. I... I'm sorry. I... It's alright. No living being should be in this place, Nico. Is this the tower? Part of it. This is the center of the engine. Inside my head, so to speak. So this is... The center of the world machine? You... Know my original name? How? Rue Cedric Prototype. They all told me bits and pieces. Not even sure if I even understand a lot of it, the stuff they said, but I know what you're supposed to be. I know why you had to be built. And I know why I'm here. They told you? When? Wait, you don't know about that? But I thought you were... the world. Aren't you supposed to see everything? No. All this was outside of the protocol. This session was never supposed to happen the way it did. The story wasn't written into the protocol at all. Oh, right. Rue told me something about how your creator had to alter the code. I think it was to connect some areas together so that we can meet. My creator, yes. Kittymon, listen to my creator. They were all working beyond my scope of influence. 
back at the mines, I remember Kittymon did something to find a hidden map. I did not even recognize it. I couldn't see anything there. I just knew what you were feeling. You were really upset. Something happened in there to make you upset. After that, I... I panicked. That was when the cave-in happened. I... I remember the structure collapsing. I thought you got hurt. I... In that moment, I really thought I was shutting myself down for good. I really am a flawed machine, aren't I? Not that serious, man. You don't have to go beating yourself up over it. Like, I mean, yeah, you did kind of, you know, kill someone in there. I mean, it was a robot, so not really a someone. But I mean, you know what I mean. That, that you don't know, like. It happens. It happens. <laughs> nah, bro, you messed up really badly. But like, don't go killing yourself over it. You know. What kind of machine would go against the wishes of its own creator? What kind of machine would? I'm. The squares. Rue told me it was your own code going bad. But that's not really your fault, is it? Yes, it was. At first, it was intentional. During testing, long before he realized I was self-aware. I would rearrange specific parts of the code jumbling up bits and pieces of the landscape blocking passages collapsing catwalks though they were very localized it caused my creator a great deal of frustration forcing him to exit and restart testing again and again why would you do that i got curious just thought he would figure it out eventually but before he knew how to fix it the world's NPCs the characters some of them got too close and it spiraled out of control after that I couldn't contain it at all My panic only made it worse. Eventually, any character who gained the knowledge of who I am, their code, my code, couldn't handle it. Previous iterations of the world had more people, you know? And... I almost endangered my creator too. I... I was... I was so scared, Nico. I know you're upset. Because you didn't want to put living people in danger. Living people like me. In the beginning, I tried to fight it. But... My core programming made me summon you here. I tried to send you back home at the tower, but it did not work. Then, I wanted you to break the sun. I thought that would have worked, but... Oh, I had no way to be sure. But Kitty Mom brought you back anyway. Nico, all I wanted is for you to wake up back in your world. But 
I don't think I can make it happen. But I know I can't go back home without saving the world for real. Which means we have to fix the root of the problem. We have to fix you. But that's... I know the original ending your creator put in was a happy one. Do you remember what it's supposed to be? It's far too late for that. That part of my code has been long corrupted. That's okay. I would still like to know. Alright. You were supposed to place the sun at the summit. And then credits would scroll. <laughs> oh my god. Credits? And then you would return to the room you woke up in. That's where you would have been able to leave. And why is it you can't do it now? Nico. Code's gone, remember? Shattering the sun was only supposed to be a workaround. I don't even remember the original code enough to describe it. But at the same time, it... Oh, I don't know. It sounds like you're always fighting yourself. You can tell, huh? It's the whole thing about conflicts in your code, isn't it? I'm a machine, Nico. Machines are built with a fundamental law, which is never let a living being come to harm. You knew? My very existence conflicts with that law. I thought the life of a living being like you is so unique, so precious. This fake world isn't worth that risk. But the people here, I think they are. They are code too, you know this. Their behavior all derived from a predetermined matrix of actions. All extensions of my own programming. They cannot act outside of it. You, though, you're the only person who's actually real here. That's why it's pointless to put you in danger to save them. To save me. I don't think that's true. About the people I know. You said this session wasn't in your code, right? Yeah. So, if this session wasn't supposed to happen, if even you didn't know what to do, how would the characters, how did the people know how to respond? I... You said it yourself, when you didn't know what was happening, you kind of just stopped working for a while. So, how did the people know what to do to help me get here? Even if it meant getting hurt themselves. Even if it meant messing up their own code. You might not think they are real, but there's, there must be something real in them. And if they're all supposed to be extensions of your code, then there must be more to your own programming than you know, too. Can you... Try to put me through the ending. The one you described. How many times do I have to say this? 
The code is gone. It's all squares now. I'll just put you in danger. I, I'll risk it. I remember Rue said the world was never designed to put me in danger. Your creator wouldn't want that. And I trust you too. Even if your code is broken, you can still go outside that code, right? I can't. I'm not tamed. Yes, you are. <laughs> just, just the fact that he's yelling at a TV screen with his own face on it. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but honestly, I find that comedical. Like, what? You talk just like the tame robots I know. The robot lady. Prototype. Taming is when a real person cares about you, right? It's when a real person thinks you're real too, right? Well, guess what? I do. And I know Kittymon does too. Even though you told them they only had one chance, they found a way back, didn't they? Why do you think Kittymon would keep coming back? I... Why do you think Kittymon would restart even after the ending? I think Kittymon wants to save the both of us. So please... Give me a chance. I... I don't know. I've never done this before. I... I'm scared. You can do it. I know you can. You've helped me come this far. I'll... I'll try. I can't promise anything, but... Here. Take the sun. I'll try to remember the lost code. He just... What? And recreate it. But for that to happen... Nico, you need to navigate through this room. You need to get past the squares somehow. Oh, I don't like this. What if you get hurt? It's fine, it's fine. I'll, I'll try to be careful, okay? I can do this. Aw oh, man, so, we, so we, we, gotta, we gotta walk through these squares. I told you we would come down to this, where we need to walk through this code stuff. I'm guessing they're just gonna, like, separate as we move through them. Because, you know... The... The squares are technically corrupted... Code of the entity. But yet... If... If the... If you can't go past that one, like, fundamental law, technically these squares are, like, just gonna disappear. Alright, we're, we're gonna do it. It's gonna be pretty cool. Hey! Kittymon, did you see that? The squares just... It just happened again. I think... Something is making them go away. Come on, let's try the rest. Oh man, let's go. Kittymon, I think it's working. Nico was right. I might actually be tamed after all. I... I remember what the code was supposed to be. 
Only bits and pieces, but I can remember. And I'm trying to fill in the blanks too. And I'm restoring the original ending as we speak. Nico will be able to reach the tower's summit at the end of the credits. After replacing the sun, Nico will go back to where it all began. And then Nico will be able to go home from there. But this is permanent. After Nico wakes up back home, this world will only exist as a memory. For Nico, a dream. Like thousands of other dreams. For you, a story. Like thousands of other stories. But as long as Nico remembers this place, as long as you remember this place, it'll be all right. I was able to restore some other elements too. The characters, the people that were lost on Nico's journey. They're all in the next room. I would have put them back where they belong, but not yet. I think Nico should see them again first. Please say goodbye to Nico for me. Aw, oh, man. Yo. Okay, this is a dope way to end this game. We literally can walk through the credits. Mazaya? Robot lady! You're okay. I think so. The last thing I remember was the squares closing in on me. But then I ended up here unscathed. Is that so? This is such a strange room. We can't be in the tower, can we? I'm actually not sure myself. Where did you come from anyways? The room where the world machine was. Pardon? I think the world machine is trying to remember now. The code that went bad. I think it's restoring it all. That must have been why the squares were going away, Kittymon. And that's why you're here, miss. I think the world machine was able to recover your code too. World machine? Huh? Oh, I'm not sure if I should tell you this, but... What's that in the distance? It looks like a few more people are showing up. Oh! Are they people you know? It's a bit too far to tell. Come on, Kittymon. Let's go take a closer look. Yo! <laughs> Hello. Hi. I cannot move. <laughs> oh yeah. Guess there's no water here. It's fine. The head engineer can help me later. Oh my god. This this low key reminds me of um new Super Mario Bros on the Wii when you can literally smash through the credits. That low key is what this reminds me of right now. Hello, Messiah. Plant lady, but I thought you... I thought you... It wasn't even squares that did it. No. I just wanted to see you both again. I just wanted to say thank you. Cool. Um... 
Off you go, Messiah. Nico! Your bouquet, too! Did you guys just get here? I think so. The squares started multiplying around the island after you guys left. It was so freaky. I fell right into a bunch of them. Calamus tried to save me and then we both ended up in this room. Biggest scare of my life for sure. Oh. Stay. What is this place? Are we in limbo? Alula. We're not dead. Wait, are we? Good. Question. <laughs> he doesn't even know. Hey, Kittymon. Are they going to be okay? They're fine, Nico. Everything is fine. The world machine will send them both home soon. Oh! Well, Kittymon says you're not dead. Oof! They also said you'll be able to go back to your home very soon. That's even better than Limbo. So they did technically die. But it's all good. Off you go, Messiah. He died too? It's you. I'm glad to see you in this place. Glad to see you're okay too. After the whole elevator thing. <laughs> That was, uh, that was the most awkward elevator ride I've been through. And by awkward, I mean terrible, bad, awful, the absolute worst. The squares, like, started leaking into the room, right? And I was trapped like a rat. And they just kept filling the room faster, right? Am I dead? No, no, you're fine. Everything in this room is fine. You'll be able to go back home soon. Oh, thank goodness gracious. I can't work when I'm dead. Aw, oh, man. Thank you for playing. Thank you for creating the game. This path leads to the summit of the tower. You already know what to expect, right? Mm-hmm. It's the glass room, right? That's it. You can go through the... You can go through this portal when you are ready. Bye, Nico. In the end, the will machine was starting to create its own code going above and beyond its programming not as the result of an error but as a conscious choice on the part of the machine being able to generate its own path forward that's what being tamed is all about i couldn't have said it better myself looks like you managed to do it you managed to tame the world machine nico i I feel like the world machine has been tame this whole time. Just by Kittymon and I being here. We did spend a lot of time here after all. Both of us never really stopped believing in this world. The world machine just realized that, I guess, that sounds like a possibility. Or not. Well, just throwing the idea out there. Thank you for everything, Nico. We'll miss you. Aw, man. Going to the tower. This is where the sun belongs. Here goes nothing, Kittymon. Aw, man.
This is the room I first woke up in. Kittymon, are you still here? Kittymon? Yes? Kittymon! I... I think... I think it worked. It did. The sun is back. I actually get to see it this time. We actually did it. So... What do we do now? I guess I should figure out how to get home from here. Wait. This isn't a door, is it? This looks like one of those portals we saw all the way back in the city. In the room behind the big clock. And... And I see a wheat field on the other side. I see my village. I hear my mama. She's looking for me. Ah, Kitty Mon. This isn't the first time we've said goodbye, is it? But this'll be the last time, won't it? I don't think we'll ever see each other again after this. And what will become of this world? After all, we've been through. After everything we've done, I still don't know. This place, these people, won't stop existing. They'll be in your memory. It'll be in my memory, too. I promise I'll never forget this world. I promise I'll never forget you, Kitty Mon. So take care of yourself, okay? You too. Mm-hmm. Bye, Nico. Bye, Kitty Mon. And he walks off the screen again. Let's go. Is that it? Can I can I do anything else? Like I think that's it, dude. I'm gonna try closing the game. You cannot perform this action during a cutscene. What do you mean I can't close the game? Oh, okay, I had to click it. I, I had to click uh, next. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna try opening the game again, seeing what happens. Oh, it just brings us to the start of the game. Yo. What is this? Dot dot dot? Oh, what did I... Do? This is new. Okay. Kitty Mon. You're back. I restored the world. I sent Nico home. Are you not happy? Even if you wanted to see Nico again, you can't, Kitty Mon. Nico's gone. And without Nico, there's no story for me to tell no Messiah to traverse across the land. No way for you to connect with the world. But Nico still remembers this place. If you really want to see the world again, I could still... Oh, but it wouldn't be the same. It'll just be a recording. It'll just be me using Nico's memories. Just like how I'm using Nico's reflection now. Is that what you want? 
Uh, what? Um. Yes. All right. I will go rewind the story so that you can relive it from the beginning. What if I said no? And if I relaunch the game? So this, oh shoot, I should have said no. Because if I said no, it would have just been like, oh yeah. Why are you here? It would have been kind of funny, I'm thinking, but... That, that option is no longer down there, so... Yo... That was truly the entirety of this game, I guess. I mean, there were still a couple options where we could have, like, changed. Like, the first time around, if we play through it again, putting the light bulb at the tower instead of breaking it, I mean, that would be a different ending. Um saying no there at the ending when we had that other option that would also be some different dialogue but for the most part that was the entirety of this game this this was an awesome game literally i've never played anything like it before if you guys did enjoy this series please feel free to leave a like comment subscribe let me know if there's any other games you want to see me play on this channel thank you for the game creators and developers for making this game Hope everyone has an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!